Hey guys, welcome to Data Structure and Algorithm using Java. I'm Ribbon Dotto. Today's topic is Bubble Sort. So let's get started. Alright, let's say we have an array of integers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 integers. So, first integer is Let's say five, second one, one, then four, then two, and finally eight. So this is our array. So first of all, this five is compared to the next one, which is one. So since uh, 5 is greater than 1 then we have to swap this value that means then it will be uh, like this 1 and 5 okay then I have to check so in this position all the values are remaining same that means 2 8 okay then you can see 5 and 4 then we have to compare this value since 5 is greater than 4 then we have to swap this value 4 and 5 then all the other values are remaining same all right then you can see 5 and 2 so 5 is greater than 2 that means 1 4 2 5 and 8 then you can see 5 and 8 this is already in order so we don't need to swap this value anymore so this is our first pass In the second pass, we have to compare this value again. That means 1 with 4, which is OK. So, this is 4. Then, we have to compare 4 with 2. So, 2 is less than 4. So, it will be swapped. 4. Then, we have to compare 4 with 5 which is ok then 5 with 8 which is also ok in this case I am done all the uh, compare in a single row but in previous I have done in 3 step then this is actually second pass second time I compare the values in third time can so in the third time you can compare one with two this is okay two with four which is also okay then five with eight which is also okay now our array is sorted as you can see first I compared first value which is this one with the rest of the value with the next value and similarly this value with the next one and so on then secondly now let's get started with Eclipse right file new project bubble sort okay then take a class let's say bubble sort pick mark main menu main method
okay so we have an array of integer which is five one four two eight so we need to make a method private static integer b sort or bubble sort as a parameter a okay so we need to know the size a dot length either you can find the length or you have to uh, you have to take the length as a parameter that's uh, like this way either way you can take it okay then actually it will be void so um for you can say declare integer or even okay integer i equal 0 to i less than size i plus plus then a loop integer j equals 0 to j less than size j plus plus actually this is size minus 1 because we have to compare this value with this one so that means if the size is 5 we have to go through 0 1 2 3 not 4 so it will be size minus 1 all right if a j is greater than a j plus 1 that means next value is less than the previous one then we have to swap a j and a j plus 1 so we need to make another helper method private static void swap or simply you can swap it here so we don't need this helper method anymore temp equal a j and a j equal a j plus 1 and finally a j plus 1 equal temp that's it so now we can test it for integer i equal 0 to i less than dot length i plus plus okay so you can say array equal b sort array that means this array oops array i let's see yes one two four five eight so in this line this method is sorting the values so all right i can put one more value let's say um one is seven 
and the other one is 22 yes so this is a simple bubble sort bubble sort is appropriate in a, a small amount of elements if the elements is less than 100 then it is appropriate otherwise you have to select another sorting algorithm like quick sort merge sort but if your input array is more than 100 then you have to avoid this bubble sort because it will take n square worst case running time so thank you very much for watching this tutorial um, if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and make a positive comment in the comment box and if possible please share this video thank you see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye bye